Hey y'all, it's Brandon with Voodoo Forge, and I have got a bottle opener class coming up, so I need to make some extra tools for that. I need a small round punch and a flat punch, essentially. So, let's get them made. Here's our starting material. i got two coil springs. This one is about three quarter in diameter, and this one's about five eighths. Gonna need uh, two and a half inches or so of each of them. Coil, coil spring can be found at pretty much any scrap yard uh, for scrap prices. So keep your eye out for it. It was noisier than I thought it was gonna. Cut a little more off this bad boy and uh, cut it to size once I straighten it out. straight enough I can use the press press on it.
for our purposes, we'll take the rest out on the sander. So I'm going to bring this back up to an even temperature and then set it to the side to cool, and then we'll cut it where we want it. Yeah, I'm just going to set it here and uh, let it cool on slowly. Now on to our other punch. be a narrow punch so we only taper it one way. Everything's cooled down. I'm going to start with the uh, slitter and I'm going to do my initial shaping on the uh, grinding stone and then we'll go to the belt grinder. You don't have to do this on a grinding stone or a belt grinder. You can use an angle grinder. You can use a file. You can, uh, you can forge it closer to shape. This is just the way I found it's a little easier for me to get it where I want it. got the bulk of it down now we'll go over to the belt grinder and uh, tune her up a little okay we've got our punch end where I want it now we're going to work on the struck end I think the most efficient way to do this is going to be with an angle grinder so locker in a vise here Let's get that in nice and flat. Back over here. It's pretty good for what we're going for. Okay, I just double checked and I've actually made this about a quarter inch too wide, so I'm gonna have to take an eighth off each end. No big deal. That is right where we want her. So we'll set this aside and work on the round punch. First thing we're gonna do is get this tip nice and flat. Now you don't have to do anything more than that to get the punch we're using for bottle openers. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and then cut it off and, and do the striking in. But you can just cut it off and do the striking in from here. That is good right there. So now we've just got to get ready for the handles. The material for these, I've got a couple of pieces of about 21 inch, quarter inch round. I'm gonna heat them up in the middle and bend them and make the handles up. here in my welding vise. Now I want the handle to come off at this angle. 
right here. So I'm gonna weld it right there and get it welded on. Then I'm gonna bring the torch over, heat it, wrap it around and weld it again. Repositioned her. Uh. It, the reason why I wanted the handle to come off at this angle is because if I'm standing at the anvil or the switch block or wherever I'm, I'm punching, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have the material probably between my legs holding it. Yeah, I know, it's dangerous. And I'm gonna put the punch down like this. So that just makes it where it's easier for me to hit it. You can put it off at any angle you want. So here we go, here's our slot punch and our round punch specifically for making bottle overs. You can use them for other things, but that's what I made these for. Got a class this weekend, so uh, next video I will show you how I, I forge the, the bottle opener, but these are the, the, the two of the tools that you use just making a basic bottle opener. A couple more things about these. I make these short because they're a struck tool and I'm not holding it with my hand. Uh, if you don't have a welder, don't freak out. You can always just hold them with a pair of vice grips. It just gets your hand out of the way. And the shorter they are, the, the, the more swing you get in before you impact them. If you've got a big long one that sticks up here, you're hitting it up here. So you get a little more oomph if they're shorter. So I make them shorter and have something to get my hand out of the way. So used to, when I made tools like this, I would go through the process of hardening and tempering them. Now I just normalize them because when they're in contact with the hot material, it takes the tempering out anyway. So how do you, what do you use 5164? Do you make tools out of it? Do you put handles on them? Do you make long ones you can hold? What do you do? Do you slit them? Do you drift them? Do you put a wooden handle in? Let me know in the comments. All right, y'all behave yourselves.